we could just tell him. You are always defending her. Doesn't she drive you mad too? Naturally. <laughs> then why don't you tell her? Does the GNU talk of spring when the shadows are tickling the squirrel? Uh. I love her. It's just a phase. She'll change. And if she doesn't change, then I will not love her any less. I love you both as you are. Warts and all. Hmm? You. <laughs> um. Mother wants me to marry this Prince Lalilos. Uh, I did hear about that. Is that your wish too? All I wish for is for you to be happy. Aha, so I'm not going to marry him. Unfortunately, not all wishes are granted. Oh. That's why they're wishes. You are an elf princess. You will need to marry sooner or later. It's just when and who. I'd rather just leave that to Mother Nature. I wish you could convince Mother of that. I fear her faith in your taste of men has been shaken a little since... Well, you know, she wants to prevent your heart being broken again. That's why she is choosing someone that she thinks is right for you. Which, to me, is still a very weird system. Because, you know, <laughs> how do you determine that if you don't see the two at least interact? <laughs> but, sure. Um... Well, Pa, would you have used the artifact of divine fate, or would you have hidden it like we did? I think that too much power can corrupt any one of us. But you have great powers, and you've never used them for evil. I could have cured diseased woodlands with the artifact, cleaned rivers in the air, and then what? Then I might have chased away the lumberjacks and destroyed the factories of the dwarves. I could have helped a lot of humans. Things take time, Ivo. If you force change before its time has come, then it won't last. Well, do we say it? I... Uh, I need to tell you something, Father, but I'm not sure how. You shouldn't worry too much. It's not good for the baby. Oh dear. You no. Know. Has a zebra got stripes? How could it have happened? Why? I don't know. Is that important? Wow. It is. I want to know what's happened to me. Then look for the answers, my little bud. How can you be so calm about it? Because I know that everything will be fine in the end. And if it isn't fine? Then it is not the end. Huh. So I wonder if you'll actually let us. If you don't know what the pregnancy is all about, then I'll have to travel to Seastone and ask the Archmage. The fact that I don't know means that you did not get pregnant by natural means. And if something does not conform to the laws of nature, then it must be magic. No one knows more about these things than Alistair. We agree then. Like snails munching cabbage. Only, your mother isn't going to permit it. I know, but I'll work on that. Hmm. I wonder what this enlighten me does. Enlighten me, father. Ghosts and demons, laughing madly and turning quickly in circles, are a wonderful sight. Hmm. I'll need to have a think about that. He just probably has a lot of weird quotes. Enlighten me, father. The moth and the dandelion, laughing madly and turning quickly in circles, are a wonderful sight. Hmm. I'll need to have a think about that. I've got quite a lot to think about. Goodbye, little daughter. See you later, father. He is interesting, let's say. Um... Okay, well, let's talk to our mom and see what info we can ascertain about, you know, the magic mirror. Mother? 
Yes, Ivadora. Those symbols on the columns, what do they mean? First your insights concerning your wedding and now an interest in the spiritual. You do surprise me. The three symbols depict the three different forms that water takes. They are important in many rituals. Water that falls from the sky. Sure. Water that springs from the earth. And water that is bathed by moonlight. Oh. I think that those would be the other way around. Like this one is springing from the earth. This one is falling down. And you know. Um, What's all this different forms of water all about then? Not all water is the same. It changes. If it bubbles out of a spring, then it is spring water. Then it turns into stream water, perhaps into river water, and then sometimes later into sea water. The voice of water changes its soul. And if different forms of water are mixed together... Then you can create water with powerful magical properties. But it's not as easy as you might imagine. Water is constantly changing its form. Rain is water from the sky, but as soon as it lands in a puddle, then it becomes common puddle water. Hmm. That is, sounds like it's going to be kind of tricky. Do you really think that I look fat? You aren't really fat, my darling, but you aren't perfect either. Do I have to be perfect? No one is perfect, but that doesn't stop us striving for it. Once you are happy with yourself, then you become overindulgent. Dissatisfaction can take you far, my darling. So can satisfaction. <laughs> Why do you want me to marry this particular prince? Because I think that will be best for you. And if I don't like him? Then you will learn to love him. Why can't I fall in love first and then marry? And what happens if you don't fall in love? You won't ever marry then? Don't be childish, Ivadora. Duh. When you married father, how long had you known each other? <laughs> Just a few days. I fell in love with him instantly. He was the wisest and most handsome elf that I had ever met. And if you hadn't loved him, or if perhaps you hadn't even liked him, then I would have married him anyway. It is the duty of the princess to secure royal succession. Whether she wants it or not. You didn't want to go to school either. Today you can play music, paint, speak a dozen different languages and have realized what a gift education is. Please, just trust me. Sometimes only parents know what's best. Yeah, sometimes parents just want to retain their power as well. Um, Do you know what can be done to fight the epidemic in Seastone? Done? Nothing, my darling. It's a matter for humans. We will only observe. How hard would it be for us to actually help solve a problem for once, instead of waiting for it to solve itself? If Alistair needs my advice, he can ask me, and up to now he has not done that. But... I'm not going to interfere. <sighs> ah. So that is probably what we're going to have to do then. Is find a way to use the magic mirror. Contact her that way. Appearing as Alistair. And then asking for help. Or for Ivo to come over or something. That stuff in the moon well. That's water bathed by moonlight, isn't it? Of course it is, my darling. Could I take some of it? It is holy water. We only use it for special occasions. What do you need it for? Um. I'd like to carry out a ritual. I need some water that has been bathed by the moonlight for it. Really? What sort of ritual? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, it's just, um, really... What do you want to use the water for? Oh, forget it. Oh, damn. About the moon water. What do you need it Um, ritual. I'd like to... Really? Um... I want to become one with the cosmos and nature and, um, uh, to see the future and the past. So do the things that you do. The 
a child. You'll need centuries of training for that. Only priestesses can use Moonwell water for spiritual journeys. Okay. What do you uh, mixing a potion. I need it for a potion. It's one of the most important ingredients. Really? What sort of potion? What would she approve of? Uh, I want to blow as much air as possible into the water and then sell it for lots of money. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. That's, uh, yeah, one way of putting that. Uh, let's say beauty, so she'll be, she might approve. Well, the moon waters are particularly pure and clean water. I thought that it could form the basis of a beauty potion. Hmm. It is true that this water is purported to have healing powers. I didn't want to trouble you with this, but then I thought, if I'm meant to be looking my best for the prince, then such a potion wouldn't do any harm. Oh, absolutely. Do you have a vessel? Yes. May the Moonwell water give you the help you need to become more beautiful, just as it has always helped me. Bit more. Do with a bit more. Mm, yes, you do. Brute, huh? Okay. So apparently we can screw it up. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that is what this option is. In case we mess it up, we can request some more. Come back if you need any more. See you later, lover. Don't pull a face like a wilted willow, Ivo. Smile. Yes, smile. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, there was also a surprisingly big amount of screen on the right, but that's not what I wanted. Thank you. Okay. So... Now, let's just try and go in here. Talk to Cheap Cheap. The book is not gonna know anything anymore, right? I wish there was something to indicate that the book was wrong. I'm pregnant, and I don't know how, and I don't know why. I just know that I need to get out of here before Mother finds out. The Archmage and Seastone will know what to do. Okay, cheap cheap. Probably nothing to gain out hey, of that. Cheap. Well, let's yeah, go through these options. I'm really sorry about that business with the musical box cheap. I had to find out what was wrong with me. Are we friends again? Good. Sometimes I wish I kept the artifact of divine fate. Well, an object that would make every wish come true. It'd be very handy right now. Yes, I know too much power for one person. That's why Archmage Alistair and I made arrangements. Think cheap cheap. How can we both get to Seastone without me having to grow wings? Dragon? You've got an idea. Should I be worried? Picture of the dragon. A flight magazine? You've taken out a subscription to a flight magazine. <laughs> yeah, Why not? All right, all right. Page 15. Hmm. Hippogriff stud Aculeus in the Blue Mountains. The best battle and hunting hippogriffs in Avantasia. A hippogriff. That could carry me. Not a bad idea, cheap. But the Blue Mountains aren't close. And just look at the price. A pot of gold. Now where are we meant to get that from? <sighs> yes, I think you're right. We'll have to think of something. Okay. 